So for the next about two hours or so, we'll discuss the post-tension podium slab design. Uh, this webinar is partially uh, numerics, but also a lot of it's detailing and things to look out for. Uh, in terms of the design of a podium slab, it's primarily a two-way slab. So if you can design a parking slab or an office building or a hotel, uh, the design in terms of the numerics, or at least the concept, is fairly similar. It's just there's more load. So instead of you know 100 pounds a square foot, it's maybe three or 400 pounds a square foot. Um, but in general, it's you know similar concept to two-way slab, and there's another webinar that focuses more on the two-way slab design. But right now, we're going to talk about basically what happens when it goes to a podium and what are the specific items that a structural engineer should look for to make sure your project goes as smoothly as possible. Uh, in our book, post Concrete Principles and Practice, we have a chapter devoted to podium designs. So if you are interested from this webinar, uh, there's a lot of photographs in there. There is a lot of discussion on the numerics of two-way slab design. And a lot of the things I'm going to cover are in more depth in the book. Then, as like I said before, there are similar pictures to what the webinar will have. And you know, again, if you're interested, uh, it's available as a hard copy, uh, or an ebook, or a PDF version from SK Ghosh and Associates. So, moving forward, what are podium slabs? Typically, a podium slab is a structural slab or a concrete building that is holding up another structure where the, let's say, the superstructure or the wood frame building does not align with your um, uh, columns and walls of the concrete structure. So basically the slab is required to support the load of the superstructure and span it to the columns and walls as required. Typically the superstructure is wood, maybe some metal studs. Uh, every now and then we have some structural steel, but for the most part if a structural steel building is used, Typically, those aren't really the classic podium structures. Typically, if you have a you know four, five, six story plus steel structure, you're asking a lot of the slab to um, you know support that load and span the 30 feet in both directions to make that happen. Typically, for those buildings, it, it works a lot better if the structural steel columns align with the concrete columns, so you have minimal slab transfer. But what this webinar is going to cover is primarily your four, three, four, five stories wood structures or metal studs that are sitting on basically a concrete podium foundation. It's just the foundation now is 20 feet in the air, not in the dirt. Uh, typically, two-way slabs are the primary are primarily used as a floor system. Uh, there's nothing illegal or violates code to use a, a slab and beam system, like a long span uh, structure that you see a lot of times in parking structures. We've looked at that a few times, and it just never penciled out financially. Typically, the issues are with the beams, you need a lot more head height, obviously, because the beam itself uh, is you know three or four feet thick. Uh, that causes some path of travel issues with the plumbing penetrations, the lines, the conduits, everything that services the unit runs underneath the deck. Now it's going to run into those beams, so you have a lot of path of travel issues you go through the beams, you go underneath the beams, if you go underneath the beams, then that um, raises the floor height and so forth. The other issue is the beams typically uh, have vibration or deflection issues. So if you've ever just hit, gone to LAX or Orange County Airport or wherever it is uh, that you live and you have a long span garage, you know, if you're driving an F-250 or a Prius, you feel the vibration on those decks. And typically if it's a parking structure, no one really cares because it's a parking structure. And no one really cares. Uh, but if this is your house and you don't want to feel vibrations and stuff like that. So, um, you know, again, nothing wrong with it. It's not like it can't happen. But typically, at least in my neck of the woods, uh, two-way slabs are typically used for the podium structures. It's a stiffer building. Um, you know, obviously the slab is you know, a lot thicker. The columns are more tightly spaced. You typically get a, uh, a more, more consistently stiff structure. Now, the podium slabs obviously are designed to resist the vertical load of the structure for obviously everyday use, but at the same time, they have to be designed for the connection, the vertical and horizontal lateral forces of the superstructure. And a lot of times this can uh, you know, be a fairly uh, large load. We've had moment frames on our buildings or even hold downs between 40 to 100,000 pounds of uh, upward or downward force. So, you know, there's a lot of uh, lateral forces, especially in California, that you can get designed for. So, again, the dead plus life is obviously the controlling case 
for the slab thickness for the most part, and then the detailing and the extra rebar comes in for the horizontal or lateral forces. Uh, a lot of times, especially in my case, the engineer of the concrete podium structure and the superstructure uh, can be different firms or individuals. Um, my company, Seneca, we do not do wood. That's, that's just not our thing. Um, so we design the concrete structure and another engineer, typically a wood expert, use our, is designing the wood building.